What's going on, y'all? I want to show you three plugins in Studio One 5 that you may want to change the default settings on. So in Studio One 5, we've got updated native stock plugins, but I've noticed that a few of these plugins don't carry over the same default settings that they previously have in previous versions of Studio One. So we will take a look at that here and I'll show you how to change them. So we'll start with the compressor. So just remove this and oh, bring it back up. So the compressor here, I've noticed that by default, this adaptive is no longer selected. And I always have this on when I'm using the compressor. What the adaptive does is it adapts the attack and release time to the signal. And it just makes for smoother compression, less obvious compression. I always have this on. And by default in Studio One Five now, it is not selected. Uh, the next one is the analog delay. So I do not recall having to uncheck or unclick the boost here in the settings here on the analog delay. So that's the second one. So this third one is not a stock Studio One plugin, but it is free in the Presona shop, so it may as well be. And it's the VU meter. So the VU meter, by default, the scale is set to 6, which is means that it's calibrated for negative 6 dB full scale equals 0. So negative 18, usually when you're doing uh, VU meters or calibrating, negative 18 dB full scale equals 0 dB. So basically what that means is you know, negative 18 in analog is 0 in digital. So I always have this set to 18 when I use this. So now let's look at how to, to change this. So I want this to open up every time at 18 instead of six. So to do that, we just select this and go to store as default preset. It's gonna ask, am I sure I wanna do it? Say yes. So now if I remove it and add it back, is now set at 18. So let's do that for these other plugins. Analog delay. I do not want this boost on. It just makes for a crazy long uh, feedback when you start to feed signal into it. This 25% is probably a little long too. So I'm just going to bring that down to, I'm going to bring it down to 10%. And this 1 8 double, I normally start my delay settings at a quarter note, or I use a quarter note the most. So we'll leave that at a quarter note. And I'll set this as store as default preset. And lastly, the compressor, we've got the adaptive on now, and we will store that as a preset. So now, whenever I go to use the compressor, I will always have that adaptive selected already. All right, uh, so there are three plugins you may wanna change the default settings on, and you can do this for third-party plugins. This doesn't only work for uh, PreSonus stock plugins. You can do this with any plugin. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.